Tonight, a graphic video shows a man throwing objects from a vacant home and then jumping out of the window. Now, while it's truly hard to watch, it does show why addressing the home vacant home issue in the city across Baltimore is so critical. Yeah, WMAR 2 News Kendall Green joins us in studio tonight. It's clear neighbors are worried about this continuing problem. Yeah, good evening, Jamie and Kelly. One neighbor, he wasn't hesitant to share any of these stories with me and those worries. Multiple fires next door from his home on both sides. Squatters. And just yesterday, a mental health emergency that could have turned deadly. They all have one common setting inside of vacant homes on North Gilmore Street. Hey, don't throw, don't jump, man. Get your ass in that window. It's a video viewed thousands of times on the Citizen app. No. You can see a man on the third floor of an abandoned house on North Gilmore Street throwing objects outside of the window. I just walked past and he came and I almost got hit by glass. He appears to be suffering from some type of mental health emergency. They coming to help you get out the window. When I first looked at it, it was like, you know, it was one of those things where, where's this? And then a moment later, you see, you recognize that that's your house. Um, and, and immediately, you know, honestly, I start shaking my head. Keno Brown lives on the same street where this happened. He says in his five years in the Franklin Square neighborhood, he has seen more trauma than he imagined he would. The individuals in the video just walking around, you, it didn't seem like there's a life or death, uh, death situation. He ain't trying to jump. <laughs> because most of those people are there so used to it. He gonna fall. There go. Oh, sh The squatter on camera miraculously avoided oh. serious injuries as questions loom surrounding why or how he was there in the first place, given the safety threats squatters have posed over the years before. Just my home alone, my, my two homes next to me, the one to the, the, the left has had two fires due to squatters. The one on the right has had a, a, a fire due to squatting. Um, the one on the right had water damage so bad in the basement, it flooded my basement and caused the fire. And those fires have been costly for Brown. I've had to switch insurance companies and had to really get out there and grind to find an insurance company that would still cover me because of the, um, the amount of fires in that short period of time. Costing him more money for insurance, less sleep, and a peace of mind. I don't sleep well because something can be happening at any given moment. Any given time, something can be happening. And if the safety hazards that stem from vacancies and squatters aren't addressed, Brown says his home could be the next one vacant. I'll probably have to move because this, unfortunately, that community has been this way for years. And just last night, uh, around midnight, firefighters responded to a fire there on Gilmore Street. The neighbors say it was potentially started by squatters inside of another vacant home. Jamie and Kelly.